Oh hey what's up guys welcome back to another video. In this video like you guys saw up on the title I'm going to be covering my 2019 goals. So to make this video a lot shorter than the previous one of the review of 2018 I'm just going to touch on the seven goals I have for my 2019. I'm going to go through them quickly and then at the end once I've listed them all I'm going to elaborate just a little bit so you know why that's a goal of mine for 2019. Now before we continue with the video if you like my personality if you want to follow along with my journey please make sure and subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my uploads and make sure if you enjoy this video as well as my other videos hit that like button because it really does help the channel grow if you have any questions of my own goals or if you have suggestions on any of my goals please leave them on the comments below. I would really like to start a conversation with you regarding your questions. So let's begin so this doesn't become a 20 plus minute video. So goal number one, I plan on getting into the Masters of Science of Business at UTSA this year. Goal number two, I will be uploading 56 videos on this channel for you guys to enjoy. Sometimes I don't have too much time and they're just gonna be one-on-one -on -one videos like this. Goal number three, my back as far as degenerative disc disease feels a lot better when I stretch and I know that for a fact because I've tested stretching and not stretching. So my third goal is to stretch each and every single night. Goal 3.5 I will call this before we get to goal number four is in February, mid-February, end of February to start summer shredding and try to get to, I am currently about 170, 175 and I wanna get down to about 145 and just do my best to shred up as much as I can this year. Goal number four, I have two credit cards. They're not crazy overloaded, but they are a little hefty thing that I've been carrying around and I would like to pay off one of them by this summer. Goal number five, we're almost done with the goals guys, then I'll elaborate. If you haven't seen my older videos, I used to have my entire room like painted green with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff and my fifth goal is to actually sell that entire collection. It's all boxed up right now. I found a buyer in Dallas but I have yet to take those turtles out of the box, lay them out, make a video, and be able to send that video to him to see what offer he makes me. Goal number six is for my spiritual health. So I plan on praying one Our Father, one Hail Mary in the morning and at night just to continue feeding my soul that spiritual need, that spiritual health that we all need in some sort of way. And goal number seven is to continue to push my work in all aspects. That means by exercising my work at HEB to continue pushing, to continue to hustle, to grind the grit, to continue to move forward, to progress. That's my seventh goal. To any time that I feel that I'm not producing enough within myself in any aspect that I just mentioned of my goals, to remind myself to continue to push and work. So that pretty much sums up my goals for 2019. If you wanna stick around to hear the little elaborations or the briefings on each and every single goal, I'm not gonna make it too long either. Feel free to stick around and leave your comments down below on any suggestions like I mentioned prior. So for my first goal, why do I want to get into the Masters of Science and Business at UTSA? Well, if you don't know, I've been studying for the last 8 to 10 years of my life and my entire background's related to science, towards the medical field, right? So now that I'm in this business-oriented field, you know, the grocery store, I want to grow with them on the retail side. And what I'm missing is a little business background education. So this program is only one year. I can start it this summer, end it next summer, and then from there progress with the company. That is why I wanna go get that Masters of Business. My second goal, why do I wanna upload 56 videos, one video per week for you guys this 2019? Because last year I was very on and off. Although I sometimes go on hiatus like I mentioned in the previous video, while I'm alive on this earth, I will always be producing content for you guys. But I wanna keep it in a systematic fashion, one video per week, at the end of each week, upload a video. Sometimes if I have a little more time, they'll be more highly edited. Sometimes when I'm low on time like today that I 
you know, was busy during the week. I didn't get to do any cool edits. I didn't go out to do anything fun. Then it's just gonna be a one-on-one -on -one talk like this. But I wanna keep you guys in the loop. That's the point, keeping you guys in the loop of my life. Because I know some of you follow me to see how I'm progressing mentally with DDD with the gyno, with everything else I've gone through, just that progression. I wanna keep you guys in that loop to not only help me talk about it, but also in return, maybe one of you guys is going through something similar and maybe we can help each other grow from that. That's why I wanna do 56 videos for you guys this 2019. As far as the third goal, why do I wanna stretch? Because that brings me overall health. I've noticed that for the last few days I haven't been stretching and my back was killing me. I had to take all my medications and I just hate being, you know, out of it but in it with all the meds, you know. But in the end, I've noticed by trial and error that when I stretch, I feel so much better. I get better sleep. And maybe, you know, I'll make a video about that, about the differences when you stretch and when you don't for low back pain. So my fourth goal, pay off my credit, one of my credit cards, I should say. I have two currently. And although, like I mentioned, they're not too hefty, I just want to get them out of the way so that I can focus on the next things of life. What those are, I'm not sure yet. I'm just taking little bites to ultimately lead me to, you know, the big, the major goal in my life. And so for my fourth goal, to pay off one of my credit cards, that's just to get rid of debt. Plain and simple. My fifth goal, so if you don't remember, the fifth goal is to sell the teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtle collection that I acquired when I first hurt my back and I went through depression and that was kind of my outlet was just to buy all this nonsense and I acquired debt through it too. So that is one of my goals as well is to get rid of that collection because honestly, after becoming a minimalist, anything that doesn't bring me happiness, anything that doesn't have a point to my daily life, to my daily routines, I don't need it and I'm not gonna worry about it. If you like me, you do. If you don't, you don't. My sixth goal, a very important one. Why? Because the spiritual health of one, of an individual, is very important to overall health. When I was studying back at UTSA, getting my bachelor's in sports medicine, kinesiology, there's four or five aspects of health. Spirituality is one of them. You wanna be balanced in all five realms in order to fulfill full content and happiness. So that is why I'll be praying in the morning and at night, just to feed that part of health. And the last and seventh one before I end this video is to just grind, to overcome, you know, all the hardships, to have more grit, to have perseverance. I know I have it because it's what I learned way back when I was little and I know I'm gonna get the job done. Now it's just time to put it into action. But other than that, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's one-on-one -on -one talks, but like I was saying, when I have more time, I'll be more than happy to make cooler edited videos as far as how advanced I am, because I know my edited videos sometimes can be a little, you know, <laughs> not that great, but I'm trying as well every single day. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what your goals for 2019 are as well down in the comments. Like I was saying, maybe we have some in common. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace and love out.